Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. In our long history, we have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity Ganon's revival was prophesied. Yes, we have unearthed the Divine Beasts and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books will not protect us. This way surges a hole like we have never faced before. Even now, the enemy is clawing for our throat. For Hyrule Castle itself. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule Field. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the Calamity! Here! Now! Go forth! And be brave for your kingdom! Inexplicable guardian and a mysterious tower. I hate to say it, but we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. Hey, what are you? No, stop right there. <laughs> Each of you has served your kingdom admirably. Huh. You made it! I'm glad you're safe, Impa. Yes, Your Highness. And I've received the Sheikah Slate from Pora. The Sheikah Slate conveyed the Little Guardian's purpose. 
This anomalous visitor had traveled from a future of ruin. A time in the midst of the calamity to save Princess Zelda. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the Guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. King Rome of Hyrule gave his assent. Zelda, curious about the diminutive guardian, decided to accompany Impa on her journey to Pura's research facility in Hateno. With Link acting as bodyguard, they made their way to the ancient tech lab. wait for Robbie and the others at the lab to analyze it. Agreed, Your Highness. This is technology, the likes of which I've never laid eyes on. Which means we've got ourselves a brand new, never before witness, Guardian Model! <laughs> Devices like the Sheikah Slate, which are amplified by the power of such ancient relics. I but a meager fragment of such technology. I see. That explains why all of us were able to use the Sheikah Slate. In addition, this here doohickey is loaded with data. Information. We can't even fathom. Oh yeah. Check it. Extracted some visual data from the Guardian's memory. Oh. Is that? Yep, no doubt about it. Hyrule Castle after Calamity Ganon has been revived. As you can see, we managed to extract some of the data, but much of it was fragmented. Even so, if I analyze what we received, I may be able to make sense of more of it. This is the ruin the Calamity will bring upon all of Hyrule. If we allow this to pass, I fear all hope will be lost. 
Even everything we've done up until now likely won't be enough. If I don't succeed at sealing the Calamity... Never. This will not come to pass. To stop Calamity Ganon, it was crucial that they possess the sword that seals the darkness, the latent power dwelling within the Princess of Hyrule, and the might of the four divine beasts unearthed from across the land. However, the path to victory was strewn with obstacles. Korok Forest, where the legendary swords slept, had been overrun by monsters, and the Princess of Hyrule's power showed no signs of awakening. Lamenting the kingdom's plight, King Rome sent his daughter to gather pilots for the Divine Beasts. Alongside Link, whose brave conduct had earned him a role as her knight, Zelda would meet with each of the four candidates. You intend to let this relic follow you around, hmm? Yes. After talking to Pura and Robbie, we thought it would be best. I will remind you once again. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear, I understand. And I will honor my duty. The long-lived Zora, who could traverse rivers and lakes with ease, lived in Laneru, at a resplendent place dubbed Zora's Domain. Mifa, a Zora princess with the power to heal others' wounds, was selected to pilot divine beast Varuta. Accompanied by Link and the rest of her party, Zelda headed to Zora's Domain where she was granted an audience with King Dorofan. Mipha, pilot the divine beast. Yes, my father, King Rome, has faith she will do her utmost. With your permission, of course. Hmm. This will be a dangerous mission. Piloting the Divine Beast against the darkness. And I understand that the Knight who will seal that darkness has not yet appeared. That is true. I must refuse. I cannot send my daughter into such peril. But I... Your Majesty! I bring news! Well, Link, you've grown since I last saw you. <laughs> and yet, you have not changed. Creature is a guardian. <laughs> How cute. Princess Mifa! Monsters on Ploymus Mountain, marching this way. <gasps> what of my father? His Majesty is leading the army to intercept. 
Loki. Thought the prince was here with you. Sidon is missing. We will find Sidon. You must watch over the domain. Highness. This attack proves your point. We are woefully unprepared to defend against the Calamity. The Zora will face this peril head on. We must consider the future. We all share this land of Hyrule. So all of us must do our part. Mipha, attend. Yes, Father. You will become the pilot of the divine beast, Varwata. <laughs> On one condition. You must promise to come back safely. <laughs> the rugged Gorons lived in Goron City, a town carved into Death Mountain. They were forged in volcanic heat, their bodies as hard as stone. Daruk. A brave Goron whose power of protection could repel the mightiest of blows, 
was deemed the best candidate to pilot divine beast Va Rudanya. The princess and her entourage ventured to Goron City in hopes of securing Daruk's cooperation. What you'll learn about me is that I never refuse a sincere request. <laughs> so of course I'm on board with your plan. Except, there is one problem. Huh? Uh, well, it's just Varudania is in a difficult spot right now. The Divine Beast was found pretty high up on Death Mountain. A lot of monsters have been crawling around lately, so even getting close to Varudania is a big pain. Uh, only the bravest go up there now. So that's oh. why it's a good thing it's gonna be us! Oh, um, of course. Come on! Death Mountain won't climb itself. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Ooh. Seeing it again, it's even bigger than I remembered. Let's get right to it then! Ooh, I can't wait! <laughs> that was unexpected, but we pulled through in the end! You really proved yourself, hey little guy? <laughs> now, about me piloting Rutania. Well, Go ahead and count the mighty Daruk in. Oh, thank you, Daruk. Of course! We'll smash that Calamity Cannon jerk to smithereens! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You must be starving after all that fighting. I know just the cure for that. <laughs> My favorite, Prime Rock Roast. <laughs> Doesn't it look delicious? Why don't you dig in, little guy? <gasps> ah, sorry. How thoughtless of me. I should have brought some for you, tiny princess. Next time, I promise to bring enough for everyone. Uh, thank you very much. The Rito resided in a settlement on the Tabantha frontier. These feathery folk were blessed with the ability to glide along the wind, and they were adept with bow and arrow. Counted among them was Rivale, the most capable warrior of all the Rito. The natural choice to pilot divine beast Va Meadow. Zelda and her companions set out for Rito Village in hopes of securing his help. To evade foes, the party tried crossing through the snowfield, but a fierce blizzard befell them, halting their progress. Link asked Zelda to wait in safety while he and the little guardian scouted the area. This nonsense again? Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer.
I understand the situation now. I'm thankful no harm befell you. Either of you. Pardon me. Huh? But we must address the gravity of there being another guardian resembling the little one, your highness. <sighs> yes. If it is in some way connected to the Calamity, we must swiftly come up with a strategy. Out with it. Huh? We both know you'll be needing my unique skills to pilot that divine beast. Hmm? However... About this pathetic knight in your service, are you sure he's got what it takes? <laughs> what the? Oh, I see. Our friend believes itself to be a knight as well, in service of the princess. <laughs> it... what? Ugh. Ridiculous. Every last one of you. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Comprised entirely of women, they were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. your destiny, of course. <laughs> Princess Zelda. <gasps> I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Not exactly what I expected to find. I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, it's a mother. You've got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with. Master Koga! I'll show you! Yiga, <laughs> 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 assemble! Me excluded, of course. <laughs> 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 Gah! How could these losers defeat me? Uh, 
Master Koga. Suga, you're late! I nearly got peeled like a banana! Oh. Forget these cowards. It's time to retreat. I think not! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Of course, Abusa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Ganon. <sighs> Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Uh, thank you, Obosa. As Princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. <sighs> However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. So, you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me... It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Well, no matter. My harbinger, show me the future. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the future, as it will and must be, I will not allow anyone to alter its course. With that, the four Divine Beasts were assembled with their pilots. Training began in earnest, and the plan to defeat Hyrule's enemies began to coalesce. Zelda continued her work, calibrating the Divine Beasts and researching ancient relics. Much to her frustration, however, her sealing power remained dormant. Majesty did not offer even a single word of praise. Well, it's only natural that Father would be frustrated. But, Your Highness... Right now, we must do whatever is in our power. Please inform Mipha and Daruk that we depart tomorrow morning. Then you plan to go to the Divine Beasts? Understood. that the reason my ability hasn't awakened is because I haven't worked hard enough. I imagine
imagine that when I visit the Divine Beasts, he'll say as much. Huh? Oh, uh, Link, you... The adjustments to the Divine Beasts are not yet complete. We must fine-tune them for the individual pilots to ensure that they will be as effective as possible. So many of their parts are complex. We don't yet understand them fully. Daruk, I have a request. Might I join you for training next time? I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new ways to fight foes might do me some good. Of course! The more the merrier! <sighs> Thing is, we still need a night gritty enough to seal the darkness, and they're nowhere to be found. Um, yes. Although, hey, if you see anybody that... Huh? <laughs> huh? huh? Did they want? <gasps> your Highness, I bring news. It regards your impending death. I suppose destiny is at work, then. The future is fickle. Yiga clan, time to go. issued his first order to the Divine Beast Pilots. Seek out the knight who could wield the sword that seals the darkness. This would require that they vanquish the monsters in Korok Forest, where the legendary blade slept. All four of the pilots were to take part. Zelda, seeking data to help calibrate the Divine Beasts, accompanied them, as did Link for he always stayed by the princess's side. Hyrule's king chose us to perform this pivotal task. It will be my honor to excel, as always. Then there's you. The one part that doesn't add up. Why should this nobody be trusted to lead us in the coming battle? <sighs> it doesn't matter who's the leader. We're all in this together, right? You are, of course, mistaken. My divine beast is the key. 
Really now? It makes no sense. Well, my one comfort is that your reputation will be completely ruined once you fail. The Fallen Knight. <laughs> Ravali, how long do you expect us to put up with your prattle, huh? I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. Now witness. Va Meadow's divine power! All clear over here! Okay, let's go! This is quite the fog. <sighs> Are we even making progress? We could just be going in circles. Good point. If only someone could fly above and scout the way. As though I could see anything through this muck. Honestly, do you ever think before you speak? Getting lost is the least of our worries. <sighs> if something attacked us, we wouldn't see it coming. Yes. We must be prepared for even the most unusual. Huh? Huh? Shaka! <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, finally! Somebody sees me, Shakarayata! Oh? Where'd you come from? And who are you? Oh, me? I am the one who brings song and dance to Korok Forest. That's you! That's great! Mind guiding us through the fog, then? Shoko! I'd love to get home myself. Hmm. But there are scary, mean monsters in the woods, and I can't get past them! You could probably sneak right by if you didn't have those noisy maracas. Oh, never mind him. We have business in the forest. If you lead the way, we can handle the monsters for you.
What? Deco tree. Uh. All is well. The sword you hold is the key to defeating the calamity, to sealing the darkness. Young hero, you have been chosen by the sword to wield its power and vanquish the Calamity. And you, Princess, huh? do not lose hope. The pass will open for you soon. I see. Oh, forgive me. A deep slumber beckons, and even I cannot refuse. You have all that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. Hyrule's fate is in your hands. With the discovery of the knight who seals the darkness, hope spread among the people of Hyrule, yet unease lingered in the princess's heart. No matter how much she devoted herself to training and research, doubts plagued her. To clear her mind, Princess Zelda joined the pilots on a mission to investigate some unusual relics. Alas, their expedition bore no fruit, and they set off on the road back to Hyrule Castle. Yet I have not. I presume that's what you're thinking? Hmm? More and more monsters have been appearing lately. It is a sign that the calamity draws near. So, there isn't much time. And still, no sign of my power awakening. Little bird. Perhaps you are missing the point, comparing your progress to Link's. He... 
It's the same boy he was before acquiring that sword. He will rise to... Pff, any challenge with no hesitation. That's all there is to it. In that regard, you two are one and the same. Look how hard you've worked to get this far. Well, I... You see, I... What did the great Deku Tree say? There's no need to fret, princess. I know that you are where you need to be. You must accept that too. Thank you, Obosa. The pilots of the Divine Beasts, and the knight with the key to defeating Calamity Ganon. In a grand ceremony, these five heroes convened, and King Rome bestowed upon each the title of champion. The people gave cheer, the ceremony drew to an end, and the champions enjoyed a moment of rest. We did it. We have all the pieces on the board to stop the Calamity. With the Knight who seals the darkness, the four champions, and you, of course, I'm positive. We can turn back the... Uh. Huh? Would you stop making a nuisance of yourself? Unlike you, the princess is extremely busy. Hey! Oh, you cut it out. Oh. Now listen, you... Oh. Stop that! We're trying to help the princess here. Come on, you two. There's no need to fight. Oh. How dare <laughs> you act so disrespectfully in front of her highness? You troublesome teapot! Uh, so, Daruk... About what we discussed. Ah, so you're ready to begin your training. <laughs> Let's get to it. Thank you. I hope to become stronger so that I can fight mm -hmm. alongside. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I was just, um. Uh... <sighs> Enough. Mm -hmm. Leave me out of this. If you must fight, do it elsewhere. Come back here, you whiny little. Oh, um... uh, stop it. <laughs> How asinine. As the pilots learned how to manipulate the arcane machinery of their divine beasts, Pura led a research expedition to the otherworldly edifice that had appeared on Hyrule Field. This Sheikah Tower was far from the only one of its kind. In fact, such structures were embedded deep in the earth throughout the kingdom, their emergence controlled by a device inside Hyrule Castle. To activate the control device, they would have to bond the Sheikah Slate with a Sheikah Tower. Zelda, Pura, and the champions set out to do just that. Studying relics again, hmm? Oh. Father! You think you have time to busy yourself with things like that? It's just that I... time ago. It's a relic I found one day, while Mother and I were out exploring. Mother and I, we discussed it at some length together. It seemed special, like it might hold hidden powers. Even
Even after all this time, I've yet to unravel its purpose. But Father, if you allow me to uncover the meaning behind such relics, I believe it could help us to- Enough! That is not for you to determine. It doesn't mean I won't continue with my training, Father. But I also want... I want to... Explore all options. To do everything that I can. Even so, it seems that you are avoiding your duty. I will allow it. For now. But do not forget your mission. can fix that Sheikah thingamajig, what does that mean for me? I mean us. That thingamajig will tell them where we are and what we're doing. <sighs> Our cover would be blown, huh? Sounds like bad news. <laughs> Measures are being taken. Huh? Soon you'll each have your own parts to play. <laughs> Respect, Sugar. This is a directive from Lord Ganon. Oh, apologies. <laughs> this guardian is possessed by Calamity Ganon, harbinger of destruction. With it, I will bring this world to its knees. <laughs> You are blind, Seer. <laughs> Calamity Ganon is not for mortals to control. <laughs> More. What a magnificent view! We're so high up! Pura? Have you found anything yet? I see. Hmm. So, by bonding this with the Sheikah Slave... What's that? Pura? Listen, Princess! These towers have got a lot of power hiding inside. The Sheikah Towers were designed to scan their surroundings for Calamity Ganon. When we activate them, the terminals load the Sheikah Slate with a map of the area. You can see the geography nearby and locate monsters as easy as click snap. So we can track down the enemy and take them by surprise. Precisely! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <sighs> Rather than just telling you about it, why don't I give you a little demo? Now that the network of Sheikah Towers had been restored in full, 
The Sheikah Slate bestowed upon Zelda's party detailed knowledge of all Hyrule. Empowered with this immense trove of knowledge, Hura began running calculations to locate monster camps and the Yiga clan hideout. In hopes of heading off an assault on Hyrule Castle before it could begin, Urbosa and divine beast Varnaboros were sent on a mission to root out the king's enemies. Well, it's time. You and I must now ride into battle without the luxury of training. Then again... <laughs> experience is the best teacher. Using Pura's insights, Urbosa easily accomplished her mission. Thus, were Zelda and the others witness to the immense capability of the Sheikah Towers. The Varnaboris mission cleared a path directly to the Yiga clan hideout. Looking to exploit this advantage, the champions moved in to strike at once. <laughs> Look what you did! Well... I don't mind. I don't mind one itty bitty bit. And do you know why? Because your thread's about to get cut. And I'm the shears. Snip, snip! Hey! Yes! What a relief it will be! You are out of the picture! Today! Right now, in fact! The stupendous chief of the Yiga clan, Master Koga, is gonna kill you all to death. Huh? Hey, prophecy man! <laughs> you missed the part where we get walloped. I am afraid we cannot overlook this failure. Can't do it! Seer. Hmm. Fate decides all. Even this defeat. Huh? As you well know, if you decided to turn against me, you would make an enemy of Calamity Ganon. Uh, uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> So you see them. Good. We will need each other's help if we are to achieve our plan. In the name of Calamity Ganon, you and I are bound. Let us turn our eyes to the task before us. Yes. These Sheikah Towers. <laughs> they are rather useful, I admit. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, but just wait. There's one more thing I gotta show ya. Pura, uh, 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 a little warning would have been nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but look, is this technology amazing or what? <laughs> right now, we can't teleport many people at once. And anywho, there aren't many places we can travel. But with further study, I think these towers will be invaluable. Lucky for us, I have lots of new researchers on my team, too. 
won't be easy, but we're not gonna let that stop us, eh? <laughs> I know that you won't. <laughs> I wish I could join you, but now... <laughs> ah. Anyway, I'm glad for your help, Kura. Are you certain of this? Yes. Zelda's next birthday will mark the date of Calamity Ganon's return. Yes. That is what the images we recovered indicate, at least. Time has run out, then. Zelda. You and the knights will travel to the Spring of Courage. No matter what it takes, you must awaken your power before the Calamity returns. Understood. Records derived from the Friendly Guardian indicated that Calamity Ganon would return on Zelda's 17th birthday. Desperate to preempt this grim future, King Rome ordered his daughter to train at the Spring of Courage. The King, Princess Zelda, and every living being in Hyrule could sense the thunderous footsteps of a looming scourge. I will do whatever I can, as I am right now. Even if all I have to give is my faith that things will work out. This is the thread that I've been following all this time. Even so... All of the research into the relics, if I cannot awaken to my power, will have been in vain. Everyone else is carrying out their duties with such grace. We're all right because of you, Princess. Your keen senses saved us. Well, I... Really, it was thanks to your strength. <sighs> now you listen to me. Uh, okay. You said that you are the only one who can't live up to your potential. But that's completely untrue. I mean, you saved all of us just now. All of your effort, your research, is not in vain, Princess! fight to fulfill my duty until the very end. That's really all I can do.
all of the countermeasures to Calamity Ganon were in place. Except one. The princess had not yet awakened her sealing power. In hopes of preventing her kingdom's destruction, Zelda resolved to train at the Spring of Wisdom. Souls younger than 17 years were forbidden from setting foot on Mount Laneru, where the Spring of Wisdom lay, as they lacked the Spring's namesake. Zelda made plans to ascend as soon as she was of age. Knowing that this would be the day of Calamity Ganon's revival, King Rome urged his people to evacuate. He deployed the four divine beasts to quell the horrors of the Calamity until Zelda returned. <laughs> Excellent. I finally finished my painstaking analysis! Oh yeah! Now, what did you find? <gasps> Do you see? Stop right there. <laughs> I was too careless. This is bad. my inner power, believing in me. This is my last chance. Princess, it'll all work out. Everything will just align at the Spring of Wisdom. Time to head out. Farewell, Father. Wait. Something must have happened. It cannot be. Extremely bad. If the Calamity was able to overtake Hyrule Castle... the knight to Princess Zelda. <gasps> I trust that you understand your duty. Oh. 
my daughter. Protect her. <laughs> Divine beasts. Ganon has. not lost. We can still do something. Come on! witnessed images of the Divine Beasts under the control of Calamity Ganon. The party hurried to the champions, praying it was not too late. To the east of Hyrule, preparations to contend with Calamity Ganon were underway. Varuta and Varudania stood at the ready, as monsters pressed in from all sides. The monsters threatened to overwhelm them, but Mipha and Daruk battled relentlessly within their divine beasts. Meanwhile, Link and the others began to cut a path directly through the enemy ranks. I will not allow you to take her again! Sidon? <laughs> I'm here to help! 
Sister, please, don't! Oh, you've come at last. Stay calm, kiddo. You're right, sir. I will. If I came here to save you, but you have to save me, then what's the point? <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again from the top. We should all thank you. You really came through, little guy. <laughs> you know, wasn't it? I owe you some thanks, too. Oh! Without your help, I'd have been in deep trouble. <laughs> Sidon, it's all so mysterious. Is it truly you, my brother? Yes, it is yours truly. to swallow, but I journeyed here from the future. <laughs> None of this makes any sense, but oh well, we have bigger rocks to roast. Princess, please tell us what happened at the castle. Uh, I'll tell you. With the aid of Sidon and Unobo, who had appeared within the Divine Beasts, Mipha and Daruk emerged from the battle unscathed. Safe for the moment, the champions would only enjoy a brief respite. Upon discovering that Hyrule Castle had fallen into enemy hands, Mipha and Sidon headed to Arcalus Citadel to aid the soldiers who were still holding the line. Meanwhile, Daruk and Unobo prepared to confront the incoming wave of Guardians head-on, stepping once more into Varudanya. Traveling Guardian contained records with a depiction of the four divine beasts falling under the control of Calamity Ganon. These records also included an image of a scene in the west of Hyrule. With the inevitable revival of this malevolent force, Varmedo and Varnaboris were poised to attack. Seeing the unmistakable blue lights of Varmedo, Zelda held out hope that Rivali and Abosa still stood. Zelda and her party rushed to rescue them while there was still time.
on winning this fight. Vile creature. How is it moving like that? Listen. You bought us much needed time. Now look who's come to help. Now then, first, I owe you my gratitude. Thank you for your help, truly. Arbosa. And second, read you, you sent. We could not have prevailed without your aid. I, I would not presume to take credit. We, all of us, fought as one. would have been just fine without you. But I suppose it's better that you were here. I never thought the champion would be so... Hold that thought for now. Little bird, please tell us what happened at Hyrule Castle. Well, you see... ...aid of Teba and Re... With the aid of Teba and Riju, who had appeared within the Divine Beasts, Link and his forces were bolstered. Together, they successfully saved Rivali and Obosa. Following Zelda's revelation of Hyrule Castle's fate, Rivali and Teba steeled themselves, readying to confront the Horde of Guardians. The pair stepped into Varmeadow once more.
champion of the Rito. <laughs> well, then. I suppose the time has finally come to reveal Farm Meadow's divine power! When it happened, I could faintly hear a voice calling to me. As I searched for who it was, I suddenly saw my dear sister under attack. My only thought was that I had to help her. Next thing I knew, I was inside Veruta. That was your doing, wasn't it? Thank you. Now, we must hurry to Arcola Citadel. What's the problem? Hurry it up. What's your game, Free Eyes? Ma, you really are slow. Despite our best efforts, the enemy has only grown stronger. To succeed, we must adjust our strategy. Finally, the two of you can actually be of some use for once in your life! <laughs> I can't split, you're my best lackey! In that case, I will protect you, even if it costs me my life. A blood sacrifice for the calamity. Fate gives you this role, and you will play it! <laughs> we don't stand a chance of defeating them. And what's more, our chances of rescue are slim to none. And it's likely the same for all of high. And yet, rule one, the researcher's code is to never move up. Personally, I get the feeling that chances are higher than you think. Huh? Report! A, a divine beast! from the western waters! Hmm. See that? What did I tell you? With the help of those who had traveled from beyond time, the fated party fought with all of their strength to fend off the unending waves of guardians and monsters. Despite their efforts, Hyrule remained embroiled in a grueling battle. The soldiers stationed within Hyrule Castle fled, seeking refuge in the east, in the impenetrable walls of Ocula Citadel. As guardians swarmed the perimeter, they held out hope and waited for help to arrive. Link and the others hurriedly made their way to the Citadel. Meanwhile, Having reclaimed Varuta, Mipha and Sidon faced the enemy directly, forging ahead to the tower. Here we go! We 
shall cover the perimeter. And we'll join you as soon as we can. <laughs> Sister, we can do this. Right. Sidon, it's an honor to fight beside you. I'm so proud of the Zora you've become. Remember that. I will. Now it's time to focus on the fight ahead. You're ready for this, right? Of course, sister. Working together, they successfully recaptured the Citadel. Shortly thereafter, they found Robbie, who had barely escaped from the laboratory after the Yiga clan infiltrated its walls. The party soon learned from Robbie that Pura had also escaped the laboratory, making her way to Fort Hateno in Decluda. The stronghold, however, was besieged by enemies. Link and the others departed promptly for Fort Hateno, but who would quell the ceaseless onslaught of guardians pouring onto Hyrule Field during this time? Sound so defeated. Together we'll put a stop to it. But how? Look how many there are. I would likely have died if it wasn't for your courage. But I'm still here, and Nabora still has its pilot. I'd wager nothing can stop us. We will try. Hmm. Exactly. Well then, let's begin. Will you take my hand? Yes. until the battle is done. <laughs> A bye after my own heart. You never give in, huh? <laughs> Osa and Riju took control of Varnaboris, working to stem the never-ending flow of Guardians. Taking advantage of the opening Obosa had provided, Link's party began their assault on the enemies surrounding the periphery of Fort Hateno. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> your thread will be cut here, your highness. <laughs> Everyone, hear me now. With Calamity Ganon now awakened, here we stand at the threshold of the unimaginable. Despite that, we must not give in to defeat. We must not despair. We must stand and fight! Hyrule wields the divine beasts and their champions. We are armed with the knight whose sword will seal the darkness. And we shall strike with you, you brave soldiers. Everyone, you are mine to lead now. Calamity Ganon will be sealed away forever. The power I possess! Together, standing in strength, we begin our march. Hyrule's fight to rescue all within it is now! to tell me. Long last, Zelda's true power had awakened. Even the Yiga clan 
who had vehemently opposed the heroes, now joined them in strength. Finally, the people of Hyrule stood united. Just as hope had begun to shine, Zelda received an urgent message. Remaining Hyrulean forces were locked in a fierce battle on the Great Plateau. Heeding their call, the princess rushed immediately to their aid. All right, our fight isn't over. We must hurry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. But it's too far. Even if we left right away. Blah, blah, blah. I just so happen to have good news to share. Go ahead and behold! <gasps> the tower! See that terminal over there? I used it to fiddle with the control unit. The one that's in the castle. And of course, I was successful! I managed to reactivate all of the towers. Impressive, right? Oh, yeah! Check it! Let's all hurry to the Sheikah Tower! Huh? Why there? <laughs> I also upgraded the teleportation functionality. Just like that? Now that's a feat. Well, to be fair, it's not all me. Thank the ancient tech built into our friend. Anyway, now we should be able to travel to any tower in Hyrule in a flash. Or to anywhere, really. Let us go. All thanks to this. This little thing saved me. Precious gifts, you have saved my life. While I accused you of evading your duty. In truth, perhaps I was guilty of the same. Forgive me. That's not... <laughs> Father, you've always loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. The burden, the heavy load you've shouldered all this time, from now on. Please let me help you carry it. Zelda, you are my pride. And indeed, the pride of all Hyrule. With your power, I believe you will seal away <laughs> Calamity Ganon. Now, let us rally our forces for a final push. 
Troops from all regions shall gather at Hyrule Field. <laughs> Alongside our princess, we will retake Hyrule Castle. I understand your fear. But with all of us together, we shall prevail. <laughs> the time has come. left to do is to join up and destroy Ganon. And finally, it's our chance to flaunt our power in all its splendor. Make us proud, Master of Volley. All right, everybody! Let's go get our sweet revenge! <gasps> Time to rock and rampage! Yeah, you know, Bo! Oh! Yes, sir! Let's do this! I never imagined things could go this way. Awaiting your orders, your highness. <laughs> Calamity Ganon will be brought to its ruin. Hyrule is our home. And we must band together to protect and defend it. Divided, our strength would never have been enough. But together, all of us, united in our great power, together we are unstoppable. We shall overcome this threat. In an attempt to assuage the damage of Calamity Ganon, the Zora, Gorons, Rito, Gerudo, and Yiga clan, united with the remnants of King Rome's forces, all of them gathered their strength and assembled on Hyrule Field. Leading the charge were the four divine beasts piloted by the champions. Link, wielding the sword that seals the darkness. And Zelda, her power of sealing fully awakened. Under the command of Princess Zelda, the troops began their march on Hyrule Castle bolstered by the hope of sealing away Calamity Ganon and restoring peace to the land. Sapphire! Come on! Take this! Here it comes! We must! Is 
So, here you all are. All of you despicable pests! <laughs> but that looks like... Perseverance. Link and the others overcame the monsters who had been revived by the Blood Moon, thus clearing the way to Hyrule Castle. Before them, their final confrontation awaited. This battle that would determine the fate of all Hyrule. How might it end? Uh, uh. How? The great Calamity Ganon selected me! This humiliation cannot be my destiny! It cannot be! Hear me, Calamity Ganon! It's time for you to devour these! These?
too. Right, Terrico? Uh, Father, no! Please don't take it away! The return of the Calamity has been foretold. As the Princess of Hyrule, your sole focus must be on your training. A toy such as this is merely a distraction. Please! Please! I'm sorry.
Well then, it seems the time has come. I could not be prouder. It was an honor to be of service. <laughs> I know you'll lead our people well, read you. <coughs> Thanks for everything, Inobo. We didn't get much time together, but we'll always cherish it. I will too! It was so much fun. You're the best, Daruk. This has been enlightening. I even got to see the face behind the champion. <laughs> I know that we'll meet again, dear brother. Yes. You're my beloved sister, and our hearts will never be apart. <laughs> upon you for all time. <laughs>